They are getting their noses fixed and lips filled. Cosmetic surgery is witnessing a surge in demand. Facelift, it went all the way back here. A lip lift. And then if I had a rhinoplasty, I had a cheek lift where they cut the muscles. Plastic surgery has the power to reshape and uplift confidence, however. Sometimes such enhancement procedures can go horribly wrong. Join us as we delve into bizarre cases of plastic surgery gone wrong, exploring the unsettling side of cosmetic enhancement. Number 20. Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein, the Swiss socialite, is better known by her nickname Catwoman due to her feline-like appearance. Wildenstein's transformation began when she was married to billionaire art dealer Alec Wildenstein. Rumors suggest that Alec's love for cats was the driving force behind Jocelyn's decision to alter her appearance to resemble a feline. Over the years, Jocelyn underwent numerous surgical procedures, including facelifts, lip plumping injections, and eyelid surgeries. The result was a dramatic change in her appearance, with her face taking on an unnaturally tight and cat-like look. However, the story took a twist when Jocelyn and Alec's marriage ended in a highly publicized divorce. Jocelyn claimed that her ex-husband had paid publicists and surgeons to tarnish her image, hoping that their submission would help him during the divorce proceedings. Despite the controversy surrounding her appearance, Jocelyn has maintained that her appearance is the result of her Swiss heritage and not extensive plastic surgery. Tragically, Jocelyn's pursuit of the perfect feline look came at a high cost. She reportedly spent millions of dollars on her surgeries, eventually leading to her declaring bankruptcy. Number 19. Joe Chuna. Seeking solace from the relentless pressure of social media and the crushing weight of bullying, Joe Chuna turned to the world of extreme plastic surgery. Born in China in 2000, her transformation began at the vulnerable age of 13, driven by a longing to reinvent herself and escape the world that rejected her. Bullied and ostracized by her classmates for her appearance, Chuna found solace in the virtual world of social media. She became fixated on the idea of transforming herself into a living doll, with porcelain skin, oversized eyes, and an impossibly slender figure. With the support of her parents who funded her surgeries, Chuna began a relentless campaign to reshape every aspect of her appearance. Over the course of just three years, Chuna underwent a staggering 100 procedures, including double eyelid surgery, nose jobs, cheek and chin implants, breast augmentations, and rib removals. She endured countless hours of painful recovery, all in the name of achieving her dream of becoming a real-life doll. As her followers count on Weibo, China's largest social media platform skyrocketed. So did Chuna's obsession with her appearance. She became addicted to the validation and attention her new look brought her constantly seeking out new procedures to maintain her doll-like facade. But behind the carefully curated images and the thousands of adoring fans, Chuna's life was unraveling. The constant surgeries took a toll on her physical and mental health, leaving her with chronic pain, infections, and a fragile sense of self-worth. Number 18. April Brown In 2005, April Brown, a cosmetologist and fashion designer from Orange County, California, decided to get cosmetic injections to enhance her buttocks. Instead of going to a licensed professional, she turned to an unlicensed practitioner who offered her a cheaper alternative. The practitioner injected Brown's buttocks with a substance that was supposed to be medical-grade silicone. However, it was later revealed that the substance was actually a cocktail of dangerous chemicals, including industrial-grade silicone and saline. The botched procedure left Brown in excruciating pain and she soon developed severe infections that spread throughout her body. Despite undergoing multiple surgeries to remove the harmful substances, the damage was already done. Brown was left with gaping wounds and rotting flesh that refused to heal. In a desperate attempt to save her life, doctors were forced to amputate her limbs. The once vibrant fashion designer was left permanently disfigured and disabled, confined to a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Number 17, Amanda Lepore. Amanda Lepore, the transgender model and performance artist, is a striking example of how plastic surgery can be used to transform one's appearance and identity. Born Armand Lepore, Amanda felt a disconnect with her assigned gender from a young age. She began her transition in her teens, seeking solace in the image of Marilyn Monroe and determined to escape the bullying she faced. 
Lepore's surgeries have been extensive and varied. She underwent facial feminization procedures like brow lifts and cheek implants, along with drastic body modifications like breast augmentation and silicone injections to her hips and buttocks. Multiple nose jobs, lip augmentations, and even the removal of her bottom ribs to reduce her waist. The result was her signature look, an exaggerated hourglass figure, full lips and high cheekbones. However, Lepore's transformation has come at a significant cost, both financially and physically. She has openly admitted to spending over $1 million on her surgeries and has even been dubbed the most expensive body in the world by some media outlets. Moreover, the sheer number and extent of her surgeries have led to speculation about the long-term effects on her health and well-being. Some have even suggested that her pursuit of physical perfection has become an addiction, each surgery leading to a desire for more. Despite the risks and the criticism, Lepore remains a fierce advocate for self-expression and body autonomy. She has been open about her surgeries and has used her platform to challenge traditional notions of beauty and gender. Number 16. Hang Miyoku. Hang Miyoku's journey into the world of cosmetic surgery began in the early 1990s with a seemingly harmless decision, a quick injection to erase a few stubborn wrinkles. But that first alteration sparked an insatiable craving. The thrill of transformation took hold, and soon one procedure wasn't enough. Eyelid surgeries, reshaped noses, and even the contours of her jawline fell under the surgeon's scalpel in Miyoku's relentless pursuit of unattainable perfection. But Miyoku's obsession with plastic surgery took a dangerous turn when she started injecting herself with cooking oil. Desperate to maintain her youthful appearance, Miyoku began purchasing large quantities of cooking oil and injecting it into her face, believing that it would help to smooth out her wrinkles and keep her skin looking plump and youthful. The results were disastrous. The cooking oil caused severe inflammation and infection, leaving Miyoku's face grotesquely swollen and disfigured. She was left with devastating consequences. Permanent scars, nerve damage, and the shattering of her dreams of a modeling career. Her story was shared on national television, accompanied by calls for donations. Viewers, deeply moved by her plight, donated thousands of dollars to fund corrective surgery. Over the course of 10 operations, surgeons removed 60 grams of silicone oil and other foreign substances from her face and an additional 200 grams from her neck. Number 15. Monique Allen Assigned male at birth, Monique Allen fought a lifelong battle against a body that felt foreign to her very soul. Seeking to find harmony between her outward appearance and her unwavering gender identity, she turned to the transformative promise of cosmetic surgery. What began as a search for self-improvement spiraled into a consuming obsession. Monique endured a staggering 100 surgeries, reshaping her body with relentless determination, fueled by an unsettling blend of desire and despair. Seeking quick fixes, she has undergone 75 backstreet operations, injecting a shocking 12 liters of fillers into her body. In one interview, she confessed to 24 nose jobs and nine breast augmentations among countless other procedures. The relentless pursuit took its toll. As the surgical count rose, Monique's health crumbled, and the once vibrant person faded into a fragile shell. Trapped in a vicious cycle, she sought new procedures to address the flaws and complications left by previous ones. Reflecting on her excessive surgeries, Monique reveals profound regret wishing she had never gone under the knife so many times. The procedures have marred her natural beauty, and she is now registered as disabled, a shadow of her former self, unable to walk without support. Number 14. Vishal Thakkar Even in the seemingly mundane realm of cosmetic procedures lies the potential for unforeseen nightmares. Meet Vishal Thakkar, a thriving businessman and doting family man. Despite his outward success, Vishal harbored a deep-seated insecurity about the appearance of his nose. In 2006, he embarked on a life-altering journey, opting for a rhinoplasty, a nose job, performed by a highly esteemed plastic surgeon in Mumbai, India. The surgery, which was meant to be a straightforward reshaping of Vishal's nose, took a nightmarish turn when the surgeon made a series of critical errors. Instead of the minor adjustments Vishal had requested, the surgeon took drastic measures, 
removing large portions of cartilage and bone from his nose. When Vishal emerged from anesthesia, he was horrified to discover that his nose had been completely removed, leaving a gaping hole in the center of his face. The botched surgery set off a chain reaction of physical and emotional anguish for Vishal. He found himself grappling with constant infections, difficulty breathing, and a profound sense of loss and despair. The man who had once been so confident and outgoing became a recluse, hiding away from the world in shame and embarrassment. As the extent of the damage became clear, Vishal's life began to unravel. He lost his job, his marriage collapsed, and he found himself sinking into a deep depression. The once vibrant and successful man was reduced to a shell of his former self, all because of a surgery that was meant to boost his confidence and improve his appearance. Number 13. Raji Narinesing. Raji Narinesing, a transgender actress and activist, found herself at the center of a shocking tale of medical malpractice and the dangers of black market injections. In her quest to achieve a more feminine appearance, Raji fell victim to the predatory practices of an unlicensed practitioner known as the Duchess. Seeking an affordable alternative to expensive surgeries, Raji turned to the Duchess, who promised to transform her features with a series of injections. Unbeknownst to Raji, the substance being injected into her face, breasts, and buttocks wasn't medical-grade silicone, but a monstrous cocktail of cement, tire sealant, superglue, and mineral oil. As the injections began to take their toll, Raji's body became a grotesque mask of hardened lumps and twisted features. The once soft and expressive contours of her face petrified into a stiff, immovable shell, a cruel mockery of her true self. The physical agony was unbearable, a constant reminder of the toxic sludge coursing through her, but it was the emotional anguish that cut the deepest, the horror of seeing her identity erased by the very procedures she sought to empower herself. Raji underwent four surgeries in seven weeks to remove the toxic filler from her lips, eyelids, chin, and cheeks, a harrowing ordeal documented in season three of the reality series, Botched. But even now, the damage lingers, with nodules haunting her breasts and buttocks. Number 12. Sahar Tabar Sahar Tabar, the Iranian Instagram sensation, made headlines when she claimed to have undergone 50 surgeries to look like her idol, Angelina Jolie. Her shocking transformation photos, which depicted her with hollow cheeks, a sharply pointed nose, and unnaturally large lips, went viral on social media. However, the story took a bizarre turn when Sahar revealed that her extreme look was actually the result of makeup and digital editing. She admitted to having had a nose job, lip fillers, and liposuction, but denied the extent of the surgeries that had been reported. Interestingly, Sahar's journey took a legal turn when she was arrested in Iran for charges of blasphemy, instigating violence, and encouraging youths to corruption. She was later released on bail and expressed regret for her actions. Number 11. Pete Burns Pete Burns, the charismatic frontman of the band Dead or Alive, was known for his androgynous appearance and his hit song, You Spin Me Round Like a Record. However, his pursuit of physical perfection through plastic surgery ultimately took a toll on his health and appearance. Burns' journey with cosmetic procedures began in the 1980s when he underwent his first nose job. Dissatisfied with the results, he continued to seek out more surgeries to alter his appearance. Over the years, he had numerous procedures, including lip injections, cheek implants, and several nose jobs. In 2006, Burns appeared on the reality show Celebrity Big Brother, where viewers were shocked by his drastically altered appearance. His face appeared puffy and distorted, and he had difficulty speaking and moving his mouth. Burns later revealed that he had become addicted to plastic surgery and had undergone over 300 procedures. He admitted his pursuit of perfection had become an obsession and that he had spent thousands of dollars on surgeries. Sadly, Burns' story came to a tragic end in 2016 when he passed away from a sudden cardiac arrest at the age of 57. Number 10. Jordan James Park Jordan James Park, also known as the Lip King, is a British Instagram influencer who has spent over $170,000 on plastic surgery to transform himself into a Kim Kardashian lookalike. 
His journey began when he was just 17 and became obsessed with the idea of looking like a famous reality star. Over the years, Park has undergone numerous procedures, including lip fillers, cheek fillers, jawline surgery, and several nose jobs. He has also had Botox injections and a brow lift to achieve his desired look. Park's transformation has been met with mixed reactions from his followers and the public. While some praise him for his dedication to achieving his dream look, others have criticized him for promoting unrealistic beauty standards and encouraging others to undergo risky procedures. Despite the criticism, Park remains committed to his goal of looking like Kim Kardashian. He has even stated that he plans to undergo more surgeries in the future, including a possible rib removal to achieve a smaller waist. Number 9. Kimberly McCormick Kimberly McCormick, a 65-year-old woman from Washington, had a nightmare experience when she traveled to Mexico for plastic surgery. McCormick had previously undergone successful weight loss surgery at the Mexico Bariatric Center and decided to return for a breast lift and skin removal surgery. However, when she woke up from the procedure, she was shocked to discover that the surgeon had given her breast implants and a Brazilian butt lift without her consent. To make matters worse, the surgeon had also neglected to remove the excess skin from her arms and thighs as requested. The ordeal took a physical and emotional toll on McCormick, who suffered from severe infections and emotional distress following the botched surgery. She had to seek additional treatment upon returning to the United States and has been left with permanent scars and damage. Number 8. Renee Talley In 2010, Renee Talley, a former Las Vegas stripper, made a bold choice to undergo a buttocks augmentation procedure with hopes of transforming her appearance and boosting her career prospects. However, fate had a different plan, turning her anticipated transformation into a nightmarish ordeal. The silicone that was injected into Tally's buttocks began to migrate and shift, causing extreme pain and disfigurement. The once perky and shapely buttocks that Tally had hoped for were now lumpy, uneven, and constantly shifting. To make matters worse, silicone began spreading to other parts of Tally's body, including her back and legs. She was left with hard, painful lumps under her skin that made it difficult to sit, stand, or even lie down comfortably. Despite undergoing multiple corrective surgeries to remove the silicone and repair the damage, Tally still faced disfigurement and chronic pain. She appeared on the first episode of Botched, and her story went viral. This led to another procedure where doctors successfully removed her implants, finally giving her some relief. However, she was left with indentations from where the implants had been. To address these, she received Sculptra injections. Sadly, Tally's story is not unique. Buttock augmentation procedures, in particular, have become increasingly popular in recent years, fueled in part by the rise of celebrity culture and the pressure to achieve a certain body type. However, many of these procedures are performed by unlicensed or underqualified practitioners, often using substandard or even dangerous materials. Number 7. Celso Santabanis Celso Santabanis craved the unattainable, the ageless, flawless beauty of Barbie's Ken. Born in Brazil, Celso's obsession with the plastic figurine began at the tender age of 16 when friends remarked on his uncanny resemblance to the doll. From that moment, Celso embarked on a transformative journey that would ultimately consume his life. Determined to perfect his Ken-like appearance, Celso invested a staggering $50,000 into cosmetic procedures. He underwent a series of surgeries to reshape his nose, chin, and jaw all in the pursuit of achieving the chiseled features that define Ken's trademark look. Silicone implants were inserted to contour his face, while his skin was subjected to a myriad of treatments to maintain its youthful glow. As Celso's physical transformation progressed, so did his fame. He became a viral sensation, with his photos garnering thousands of likes and followers on social media platforms. Celso even launched his own line of Celso dolls, capitalizing on his newfound celebrity status. However, just five months after completing his metamorphosis into a living, breathing Ken doll, tragedy struck. Celso was diagnosed with leukemia, a rare blood cancer that severely weakened his immune system. This, combined with previous complications from hydrogel filler injections, made him vulnerable, 
and he soon contracted pneumonia. Despite his youth and seemingly perfect exterior, his body couldn't fight off the illness. He passed away at the age of 21. Number 6. Carol Bryan Cosmetic procedures offer the promise of enhancement, but even the most routine interventions can spiral into unimaginable disaster. In 2009, Carol Bryan, a vibrant and successful woman, decided to undergo a seemingly low-risk procedure to smooth out a few wrinkles and restore volume to her face. Little did she know that this decision would forever change the course of her life. The procedure, which involved injecting fillers into Carol's face, took a disastrous turn when the doctor mistakenly mixed two incompatible substances. The error caused an immediate reaction, leaving Carol's face swollen, bruised, and in excruciating pain. As the days turned into weeks, it became clear that the damage was far more extensive than anyone could have anticipated. Carol's skin began to deteriorate, taking on a hard, lumpy appearance. The once soft and supple contours of her face were replaced by a disfigured mask that bore little resemblance to her former self. The physical pain was compounded by the emotional trauma of losing her identity and the life she had once known. In a cruel twist of fate, Carol also lost sight in one of her eyes due to the botched procedure. The fillers had migrated, putting pressure on her optic nerve and causing irreversible damage. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Plastic surgery is pervasive in the fashion and modeling world. Many individuals undergo procedures, often keeping them private. Sometimes, dramatic changes in appearance, like looking younger or completely different, can raise suspicions. However, these procedures can have disastrous consequences. This was the case with a Russian model. Reportedly successful with lucrative brand deals and runway appearances, her relentless pursuit of an ideal look led her down a path of over 20 procedures. While most went well, a quest for further perfection resulted in botched cheek and lip enhancements that left her unrecognizable and ultimately cost her career. What are your thoughts on this and the rising popularity of cosmetic surgery? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Tara Reed. Tara Reed, the vivacious starlet who shot to fame with her roles in iconic films like American Pie and Van Wilder, found herself at the center of a media firestorm when her pursuit of physical perfection took a disastrous turn. In 2004, at the height of her career, Tara made the fateful decision to undergo a dual procedure, breast implants and body contouring. The surgeries, which promised to enhance her already enviable figure, instead left her body a mangled mess. The breast implants were poorly placed, resulting in a visibly uneven and distorted appearance. The body contouring, meant to sculpt and streamline her frame, instead left her skin rippled and puckered, like a piece of fabric that had been carelessly bunched and sewn. As pictures of Tara's botched surgeries hit the tabloids, the young actress found herself at the center of a media circus, her once promising career took a nosedive as directors and producers shied away from casting her in leading roles. The woman who had once been hailed as a rising star saw her professional life crumble before her eyes. But Tara's ordeal was not just career setbacks and public humiliation. The physical and emotional toll of the botched surgeries was immense. She found herself grappling with chronic pain, infections, and a shattered sense of self-worth. The woman who had once exuded confidence and charm now struggled to recognize the reflections staring back at her in the mirror. Number 4. Donatella Versace Donatella Versace, the iconic fashion designer and sister of the late Gianni Versace, is known for her platinum blonde hair, bold fashion choices, and her ever youthful appearance. However, her seemingly ageless appearance has been the subject of much speculation and criticism over the years. Versace has never confirmed the extent of her plastic surgeries, but experts in the field have pointed out several telltale signs of cosmetic work. Her skin appears unnaturally smooth and taut, with no visible wrinkles or fine lines. Her cheeks are also notably plump, and her lips appear fuller than in her younger years. Some have speculated that Versace has undergone multiple facelifts and Botox injections and fillers to maintain her youthful appearance. Others have suggested she may have had a nose job and even a possible brow lift. While Versace's transformation may be seen as a success story in the fashion world, where youth and beauty are highly prized, 
Others have criticized her for promoting unrealistic beauty standards and setting a dangerous precedent for young women. Number 3. Mickey Rourke Mickey Rourke's career took off in the 1980s with his roles in films like Nine and a Half Weeks and Angel Heart, where his rugged good looks and bad boy charm made him a sought-after leading man. However, Rourke's foray into professional boxing in the early 1990s left him with significant facial injuries, including a broken nose, cheekbone, and split tongue. In an attempt to repair the damage, Rourke underwent a series of reconstructive surgeries. Unfortunately, the results were far from what he had hoped for. Rourke's post-surgery appearance was drastically different from his former self. His once chiseled features were replaced with a puffy, almost unrecognizable face. The actor has been open about his dissatisfaction with the results, even going so far as to say that he went to the wrong guy to put his face back together. Despite the drastic change in his appearance, Rourke has continued to work in Hollywood, embracing his new look in films like The Wrestler and Sin City. He has also been an outspoken critic of the pressure actor's face to maintain a youthful appearance, urging others to learn from his mistakes. Number 2. Laura Avila In October 2018, Laura Avila, a 36-year-old real estate agent residing in Dallas, Texas, ventured southward to Mexico. Her destination? A clinic in Ciudad Juarez, where she had scheduled a nose job and breast augmentation. Little did she know this seemingly ordinary venture would soon spiral into an unimaginable ordeal. During the administration of anesthesia, something went horribly wrong, and Avila suffered severe brain damage. She was left in a coma and was eventually transferred to a hospital in El Paso, Texas, where doctors discovered that she had suffered multiple cardiac arrests and had been without oxygen for an extended period. Despite undergoing multiple surgeries and receiving round-the-clock care, Avila never regained consciousness. Her family made the devastating decision to remove her from life support, and she passed away on November 24, 2018, just days before her 37th birthday. While the allure of cheaper prices and faster wait times can be tempting, the reality is that many facilities abroad operate with lower standards of care and regulation than those in the United States. In Avila's case, the clinic where she underwent her procedure was not accredited by the Mexican government and had a history of complaints and safety violations. Her family has since filed a lawsuit against the clinic and the doctor who performed the procedure, alleging negligence and malpractice. Number 1. Joan Van Ark Joan Van Ark, the beloved actress from the hit TV series Dallas and Knott's Landing, is another celebrity whose plastic surgery journey has raised eyebrows. In her prime, Joan was known for her natural beauty and talent on screen. However, as she aged, it appears that she turned to cosmetic procedures to maintain her youthful appearance. Recent photographs of Joan suggest that she has undergone multiple surgeries, including facelifts, collagen injections, and a possible brow lift. The result is a dramatic change in her appearance, with some critics describing her skin as having a leathery and unnatural look. While Joan has not publicly confirmed the extent of her surgeries, experts in the field have pointed out telltale signs of cosmetic work. Her skin appears excessively tight and her cheeks have a puffiness that is often associated with fillers. It's a sad reality that many actresses feel the pressure to maintain a youthful appearance in an industry that is often unforgiving to those who age naturally. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.